Hello, Bernard Ondara here from Binary Winners Club presenting to you episode 1 The 5 Keys to Succeeding in Binary Options. Uh, traders, I would like to welcome you to this first video in a series of videos that I've been releasing as I informed you on our platform, uh, Facebook, that is, and uh, Telegram. I did say that I will be issuing nice educational materials in the form of videos uh, to teach you members a number of things uh, in a bit to help you trade better for profit. And now this is the first of its own kind. Uh, an introductory video, but very important if you want to pick your steps best and put your right foot forward so that you get started uh, doing things the right way. I must appreciate that it is tough trading binary options, but not entirely difficult or impossible. You can achieve it. You need patience, you need discipline, you need focus, you need to. Uh, you know, be positive minded, have a positive attitude towards this, and remember, trading should be considered and treated just like any other business. The investments you must make in it, the investments you must have to make, that is, uh, so that you can succeed. You may have to buy you know, courses, you may have to buy trading tools, the things you have to do from time to time. You may have to spend enough time reading so that you know how to trade on your own. You really have to do something uh, for that business to flourish. Now, this video, which is uh, episode one, the focus is I want to share with you what I believe through my few years of experience in trading binary options, the things that I believe are very important uh, in helping you succeed in trading binary options. I must start by saying binary options can be traded profitably. More challenging than Forex, yes, but you can easily make quick cash with binary options than in Forex. But of course, I've always encouraged you to also invest in Forex, just in case things go wrong in the future, you never know. Binary, uh, binary trading is facing a lot of challenges. But of course, we hope to be there for long and we'll be able to benefit from it uh, while it is there with us. And so episode one, on uh, on the screen here, uh, what I'm mentioning here is BWC, the code name for Binary Winners Club. This is our academy. Uh, through this program, I'll be sharing with you a series of videos to teach you a number of things, including my own personal strategies. And so welcome to the very uh, content of this video. I don't want to make it long. I want it to be about 20 minutes or so. Now, the five things I believe are very important for you to succeed are number one, knowledge of the markets. That is trader education. It is important that you have some knowledge about binary options, working knowledge, some background information about binary options. My assumption at uh, the beginning, for example, be uh, when you have a chart like the one you are seeing here, Euro USD one hour chart, you should be able to know at least from the very beginning uh, that uh, markets move up, move down, move up, move down. Sometimes they appear to be moving horizontally, but either way, price is moving up or down, up or down. And you can make money when price is moving up, and you can make money when price is moving down. Uh, in the binary world, if you uh, you want to enter a trade at say this candle, hoping that uh, by the end of this candle price will stop above, that's what most brokers would call a call trade or a call option or higher option or high option or up. So there are many terminologies used. So call up higher, they all mean that you are buying an option expecting that at expiry the option will be at a higher price or will close at a higher price than the price at which you bought it. When you do a put uh, on a down or a lower option, it means you're buying a given asset or you're investing in a, an option 
where you are expecting that by the end of a given period, one hour, five minutes, one minute, depending on your choice of time frame and expiry, uh, the market will have moved lower than your entry level, and that's when you make money. So you make money when price moves up and expires above your entry price, that's what you call ITM, or price moved down and expired below your entry price for a put, and that's still what you call ITM or in money. But in the case your prediction is wrong, say um, you, you, you did a buy here, you put for a, a call at the close of this candle, hoping that price will continue moving up, but suddenly price went down and expired below your entry for a call, that is considered an OTM or out of the money. The same thing would have happened if on this candle, on this candle, you thought after the candle closed, the next candle would move down and you entered a put, you would have expected price to continue moving down, but suddenly price went back up and closed above your entry. Uh, that means you also suffered a loss, that's an OTM or out of the money. Uh, with some brokers, those are the only two options you have, that price will either expire uh, above your entry or below your entry for you to win. So you either have OTM or ITM, but for some other brokers, you are allowed to draw. For example, if price just did not move anywhere, where you entered is where it stopped. For example, on this candle, look on this candle, price opened at the same point and closed at the same point. For brokers, some brokers will allow you to get back your money. If you invested uh, $20, you'll get back your $20. For some brokers like binary.com, I know, uh, they also have an option for ATM, but if you don't set that ATM option that's at the money, if you don't uh, you know, explicitly choose that option, then uh, an ATM or a draw will be considered a loss. But if you choose the option, a draw will be considered a draw. In that case, you will get your money back. Um, for IQ option, they have a draw, I know, unless things have changed uh, overnight. Uh, this will be a draw and your money has you know, left in your account. So those are the basics about price moving up, price moving down. I will talk about that later. So at least you need to know that markets move up, markets move down, move up, move down, move up. You need to know that. And it's important for you to know then at what point you can enter the market and at what point you should not enter the market. That also needs, I uh, means you need to know when to avoid trading. For example, during news time, uh, it's always recommended. You don't trade unless you're trading the actual news yourself, which requires that takes lots of experience in trading news. Otherwise, you stay away from the market. Again, when you notice price behaving like this, look at this, where you have uh, you know, candles with very tiny bodies and very long tails of wicks or shadows, that means the market is not uh, moving in the right direction, you would uh, assume. You know, it's trying to move up, trying to move. So it's decided or undecided. The market's undecided or it's in indecision state. So you try to avoid trading here. But if you see movements like this, nice movements like this, you got to consider it. So we'll talk about these things later. I'm just introducing you uh, to the essentials. You need to have knowledge of how the binary options market works. And I'll show you some of those things as we move on. So for you to succeed, number two, you need a reliable broker. Remember, you need a reliable broker. You can be a very good trader, but your broker can let you down. Some brokers are known for manipulating price so that you lose such brokers should be avoided and some brokers are also known for some weird behaviors for example you know they are like fraudsters uh when you are losing they are okay with you you can keep your account when you start making profits they will close your account so be aware of some of those brokers and so you need to choose your broker carefully so that you have reliable brokers and for me you ask me today i'm still trading with my two common brokers or reliable brokers I recommend a lot, uh, binary.com and IQ option, those are the ones I use frequently. Uh, of course, there could be others. Uh, so uh, be, be, be aware of the kind of broker you are using. Uh, you need to do a review before you dump your money into that account of a broker. Okay, uh, number three is, uh, that is success key number three. You need a reliable trading strategy or system or indicator. You don't want to enter market and you know, start gambling. You see the market is here and you say, okay, 
the country is red, probably the next one is red. That's gambling. You need to have a strategy, a technique that lets you know when you trade a call, when you trade a put, and what expiry each trade takes. So you need a plan, you need a strategy. If you either have a system that does everything for you, or you have an indicator that integrates that form a system, or you have a manual strategy where you raise the trading with support and resistance levels or trend lines. Somehow you need a technique that allows you to generate signals for trading calls and puts, or for trading higher options and lower options, depending on what amount your broker uses. So you need that. And we'll be talking about all of these things, number one, two, three, four, five. We'll be talking about them in the next episodes as, uh, as uh, going forward. For now, I'm giving you a uh, quite some good introduction on the things you need to succeed. Now, while talking about a reliable trading strategy or a reliable trading system or indicator, I want to mention something very important here and listen to it very carefully. Those of you want to give up. You don't have to score 100% win rate to make money in binary options. Get that right and I want to repeat it. You don't even need 90% win rate to make money from binary options. No, you don't need 80% win rate. You don't. If you have 80%, 90%, 100%, fine. I'm sure you don't have 100%, and no one has 100%. I'm even sure you can also sustain 80% in the long term. I uh, personally, there are the, the, the days I've scored 100%, several days, but there are also days I've gone below 70%. The market is crazy. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Your average is what's important. So, what am I saying? Most people kill themselves trying to look for a strategy that wins 90% of the time. You might spend 10 years looking for a strategy like that. You may not get one. In fact, if there was one, that are the 90% consistent. Remember the keyword here is consistent score. Consistent score. Yeah? Let me write it for you here. Consistent win rate. There's none. There's none. There's no strategy that gives you 90% or 100% consistently. In other words, every day you wake up, you do 10 trades, you win 9, you lose 1. No, not 1. Why? Buckets change. Maybe yesterday the market, let me assume yesterday, yesterday was Friday, yeah. Maybe the market was ranging and the, your strategy works very well in a ranging market and you do very well. You get excited and you say your strategy does extremely well. You wake up another day, the market is heavily trending and your strategy misbehaves a lot. Every signal you enter OTM, every signal you enter backfires and you dump the system. So, get to know you need a reliable trading system, a reliable indicator, or a reliable trading strategy. And you need to know when to use your strategy. If your strategy is built for a trending market, you should be able to identify a trending market. If your strategy is meant for a ranging market or a consolidating market, you need to apply it in that kind of market. If you are lucky to have a system that works across uh, both markets, that's ranging and trending, then you should be able to use it properly. And remember, if you have a strategy or an indicator or a system, follow the rules. Follow the rules. I've seen that many times happening. Sometimes people get a nice system and they screw it up. You get a system, you are told, wait for certain conditions to be met before you enter trade, out of emotions or out of you know, uh, curiosity, you enter trade before the signal is validated or you enter trade after the signal has been validated. Now remember, long after the signal has been validated, it's very dangerous because in binary options, you win by micro dips. You want price to close above your level or below your level of entry for call and put respectively. So when you delay your entry or when you enter before time, chances are you will lose that trade. Now we don't want that follow the rules exactly. I know I have very many uh, systems that are very useful to me and I use them. I've given them to some members, I've sold to some, and some have honestly told me I've never stopped using such systems. They use them. Some of them have come say this system doesn't work. It depends on personality. Some people can follow rules, others don't want to follow rules. And that's the nature of trainers. 
but don't blame the system. Just know that the system has rules you must follow the rules. Now, what am I talking about a strategy that's reliable? Reliable in the sense that it can give you some win rate. Now, you might ask me, Bernard, what win rate is okay? And I want to show you. Here we are talking about win rate. You want to ask which win rate is okay. I will tell you that anything 60% plus, any six, uh, anything 60% plus win rate is good. Anything 60, 60 plus, let me say 60 plus percent win rate. It's good, but you might ask, Bernard, why 60%? I will show you exactly how. I am not saying you go for 60% win rate, but I am telling you, instead of wasting time looking for a 90% win rate, start making money with 60% and I will show you how. Okay. Here I have uh, my template I use, for example. Look at this. I generated this, and so it, it does exactly the things I would like to show you. And I want to show or prove to you that a 60% win rate can be profitable depending on what kind of trader you are. Let us assume you start, you have an account, that's you have an account, a starting balance of 1000 US dollars or whichever currency you're using. 1000. Okay? Follow me carefully. Let us also assume you are willing to risk 3% per trade. 3% of 1000 dollars per trade. That's approximately $30, okay, per trade. Aha, uh -huh. let us, as, therefore now we know we are dealing with 60% win rate. It means you are going to do 10 trades a day. Six of them will win, four of them will lose. Assuming you have a system that does that, for every 10 trades you do, you are guaranteed to win, win six, but you will lose four. That's your minimum. You win six minimum, you lose four maximum. Okay, now this is also a very important parameter, broker payout. Broker payout. One of the reasons that binary options trading is high risk is this. Look at this carefully. If you win an ITM, the broker gives you around 75 to 85%. This is the profit you make for every trade you win. If you lose, which is an OTM, you lose exactly 100%. Are you seeing that? So the broker's an advantage over you as a trader already. It's not a fair game. The broker's an advantage. It's not a 50-50% thing where when I win, I make my 100%. When I lose, I lose 100%. No, no, no. This one is tilted in a, in a manner that it favors brokers or other traders. And that's why... Uh, if you see a broker with below, in my opinion, below 75% payout, I'm considering this as payout, how much they give you per trade if you win, if you see below 75%, uh, don't use, uh, don't enter trade with that kind of asset or payout. I know this payout varies from time to time in the course of a day, but there are brokers who are notorious for low payouts. I know, for example, IQ will do even up to 90 sometimes depending on the time of the day and what asset you're trading. But most brokers would range around 70, sometimes 70 to uh, 82, 85 there. There are times brokers will give you up to 90 now. It depends. And so, already know that you have a disadvantage in that for every trade, let's say you enter a trade of $20 and you lose, you will lose the whole $20. If you enter a trade of $20 and you win, if your broker was giving you 75%, now you know what that means. You will be having 75 multiplied by 20. You will make 15%, $15 profit. But when you lose, you lose 20. You see, there is a variance of $5 in favor of the broker, not you. <laughs> now that means the only way to beat the broker, the only way to make money out of trading is you must win more than half. Of your trades, you must win more than half of your. Which means, if you do ten trades, you must win more than five, meaning at least six. Because if you lose five, ultimately you will lose money. If you win fifty percent of your trades, guaranteed you will lose your money. The only way you cannot lose money if you are winning fifty percent of your trades if is if the broker gives you hundred percent when you win. 
but you see brokers not in 100 percent which means there is a disadvantage that's why for me i know that around 56 percent is break even it's what i consider break even 56 percent win rate for about 70 to 75 percent payout so if you are winning 56 percent of your trades you are not losing money you're not making money and therefore that's why i consider that from 60 percent you can start making money i want to show you exactly how it is in this chart so this chart is labeled here this is a table actually uh, it's a table uh, on this table i've labeled it 60 uh, percent itm with one thousand dollars starting uh, so i was explaining with your one thousand dollars assuming you risk three percent per trade which is about thirty dollars per trade you do 10 trades per day the broker gives you 80 percent for all you win 80 percent of what you invest so 80 percent of 30 if you are right um and your win rate is six percent uh, 60 percent meaning you win six you lose four for every 10 trades this is assuming you are trading 22 days a week a year a month sorry 22 days a month just removing eight days which are weekends in a month so you have 22 days each day 10 trades which means 220 trades per month you know what that will become you will make 600 dollars profit you will make 600 dollars profit starting with 1000 investing three percent which is 30 dollars per trade only winning six trades for every 10 which is a 60 percent uh win rate you will still make 600 dollars now let me change the arithmetic for you to see what's happening if you are lucky enough to have a uh, you know you, you have financial muscle so you start with five thousand dollars nothing else has changed everything is constant you will make a profit of what three thousand dollars can you see that three thousand dollars in a month and in case you're lucky enough to start with ten thousand you will make six thousand dollars now six thousand is pretty much uh, uh you know somebody's salary in a month in the u.s or canada and some other places probably household income not just uh, one person's income so it's not not, not easy money okay but with a standard of one thousand uh one thousand you start to make six hundred dollars i see so if you still kept doing this as you fine-tune your strategy to reach 70 percent you'll be making this little money here and if you don't struggle a lot then fund your account to around five thousand make it five thousand invest five thousand and you make it three thousand dollars per month instead of waiting for a 90 percent that you may never get win rate you may never get okay so 60 percent win rate guys can make you money all right all right let's push it up a bit and see and of course you can still start with the one thousand dollars but now you invest five percent now if you invest five percent which means you'll be trading with fifty dollars per, 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 per trade you will make a profit of one thousand one hundred dollars can you see that guys still i'm talking about sixty percent in case you forgot sixty percent win rate you're investing one thousand dollars in your account and you are trading with fifty dollars per trade of course which keeps on adjusting uh, every other day because you're making profit yeah so you see with one thousand you invest five percent sixty percent win rate eighty percent broker payout ten trades per day you will make one thousand one hundred and ninety one point one two dollars profit and then you tell me you're still looking for hundred percent or ninety percent win rate or eighty percent stop joking and be serious start making money now uh let me go back to three percent and leave it as it was now assuming you improve your strategy now you are no longer winning six trades out of ten but you are winning eight trades out of twelve meaning 67 percent 67 percent win rate 67 percent 67 percent win rate means if you are doing um six trades you win four you lose two if you are doing 12 trades you win eight you lose four which is better than 60 percent but remember it's still not 70 percent okay now let's do the same computation here you start with one thousand three percent uh per, per trade 
okay? 67% win rates, 80% broker payouts, 12 trades per day, 264 trades a month. You are disciplined. How much will your, uh, your balance uh, rise to? Look at that. $4,000. Meaning you just made $3,000 profit. Winning 8 trades out of 12 trades. Or winning 4 trades out of every 6 trades. Don't struggle looking for 80% or 100% or 90%. Start here. Have a strategy that is simple enough to give you 60%, 67% and get going and start making money. Now, assuming now you push your server, now you're confident you trade with 5% per trade. See, your $1,000 with 67% win rate will give you a profit of $8,700 in a month if you started with $1,000. Are you getting me right, guys? So, uh, yes, it is 60% that is giving you this much, $8,700 profit. But you're investing 5% per trade. But if you go back to 3%, which is what you recommend, fair enough, you make $3,000 profit. Now, let me show you uh, what is, you know, easier to make money with. But easy in the sense that uh, if you are able, to be able to secure 70% win rate and you're doing 10 trades, you're starting $1,000, you're doing 3%. You see, you're not doing many trades. Yes, you're doing just 10 per day. You are still making 3000 approximately $3,500 profit off a $1,000 account. If you make this 5%, you'll see what happens. You'll cross to, you'll make Ten thousand five hundred dollars profit from just one thousand. If you have a seventy percent win rate, now you might say, let's try a small account, a two fifty account. What will happen? A two fifty account will generate two thousand eight hundred. So that's about uh, two thousand five hundred dollars profit. If you are doing seventy percent win rate, okay, two fifty. If it's a five hundred dollar account, you see, you make about five thousand. $200 profit, 70%. Let's go back. The 60%, if you had a $500 account, what would happen? A $500 account would make you $300 profit with 60% profit, uh, win rate. 60% win rate. Suppose you push it to 5%, uh, risk per trade, you would make approximately $500 or $600. Okay? That is if you are using those. So if you start with 250, you see, your 250 would have doubled in that month. 60% win rate, guys, can still double your account in a month. 60% winning six, losing four, which is easier to achieve. Okay? In that case, you are, you are only investing 5% per trade. In that case, as you can see, that's about $12.5 you start per trade if you have a $250 account. If you are at 67% win rate with 250 starting balance and 5% uh, risk per trade, that means you also invest in $12.5 per trade, you stand a chance of making about $2,200 profit in a month with 67% win rate doing 12 trades a day. So don't keep on looking for, you know, I get, I get, I get sometimes very, <laughs> Uh, you know, very surprised when I talk to people and uh, people are asking the first time you tell them, ah, there's a strategy, there's an indicator, they say, what is the win rate? Mm -hmm. Then you tell them, okay, around 70%. Mm -hmm. They give up. They don't want to know about it. Why? They believe, such people believe, without 90%, without 80%, you cannot make money. Come to the reality. You can make money with 60%, you can make money with 67%, and make money anything from 60% upwards, you can make money trading binary options. Now, back to what we have. So, I'm done with that part. You need a trading plan, and this is what I was telling you. This is like a trading plan for me. If I'm dealing with this, then I know uh, that uh, my strategy gives me let me say I'm here 70% win rate. I know that my strategy gives me 70%, so I do 10 trades and I uh, believe. My strategy, average, will win seven and lose three. So in that case, 
if I'm starting with $500, I know that I'm only going to do 10 trades a day. And I only enter trading with the payout for that asset is 80% or more. Listen to that. I will not enter trade if I own Euro USD, for example, if Euro USD is 70%. If my trading plan states 80%, as you see here. Or if it's 75%, then uh, I will work with 75%. But for now, I'm assuming 80%. Okay? So I have a signal on USD card, but USD card is 72% payout. I will not enter trade. That's what I'm meaning when I'm talking about a plan here. You have your own plan. Have your own plan. How many trades you will enter per day? What strategy will you use? Is it a breakout strategy? A trend following strategy? Is it a pullback strategy? What is it? Yeah, is that a reversal strategy? You need to know those parameters. How much you will enter per trade? You need to know that beforehand, like $15 here for that day. Yeah, for 10 trades you will be using $15. The next day you start 16.7. I want seven. Maybe when you're ending, we enter with 62.5. Yeah, you see? Compounding. You need to be disciplined. You need to have this, you know, a trading plan. A trading plan that tells you when you trade. Is it the, 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 the London markets? Is it the, the New York markets? Is it the Tokyo markets? What sessions do you trade? Okay? What specific hours of the day do you trade? And are you disciplined enough to enter the maximum number of trades only? If you reach 10, you stop. If that's your plan, same 10 trades a day. You also need to know which assets you trade, depending on your strategy. Remember, a strategy may do very well for specific assets and does not work on other strategies. Sorry, on other assets at, at all. So you need to know. Okay? Later on, I'll talk about that. Money management, here, this is important. And that's why you see for me, I'm saying 3%. Why? I see a number of people come into the market of binary options, uh, the industry of binary options, and the first thing they do, they get an account, they feed in $1,000, and uh, boom, they go. They see a strategy on the internet saying 80% win rates. They know I'm going to make money. So the first trade they see, they enter $200. They lose. Their balance is now $800. Then they see, oh, I'm going to you know, get my money back. They see another setup. Enter $200. They lose. Their account is now $600. They get emotional. They say, now I'm going to martingale this. Then they enter $200. Wow. They lose again. Their account is now $400. They win the next trade, they, they win another one, then they lose, they lose, they lose, they win, they lose, they lose, the account goes back to zero. Aha! Why is the account depleted? You had $1,000 at the beginning. It's because of poor money management. If you have $1,000, you cannot possibly use $200 per trade. That means you only have a chance to trade five trades. And then you lose the five trades, you lose the whole balance. And that's why it's recommended never trade with more than five percent. For me, maximum five percent. Even if I'm confident of winning a trade, you can't be hundred percent sure. Sometimes the best signals can fail you. You wonder what happened. So to avoid that kind of uh, emotional destabilization, the way you feel upset and you feel like you want to in that you will recover your money, trade with what you can afford to lose. And how do you trade with what you can afford to lose? Just a proper percentage. You have 1,000, 3% of 1,000 is 30. Only use 30 per trade, even if you are sure of winning that, that trade. Build your account slowly. If you lose, you see like now we are saying this is you're supposed to be winning 70%. Yeah. If you start trade number one, you lose. Trade number two, you lose. Trade number three, you lose. You see already you have, meet, uh, you have met your target of 30% loss. You end the day, don't proceed. Yes, you need to know when to stop trading. If the losses are too many, maybe the market's not very friendly at that time, or things are happening and you have no control over them, stop. It happens to all of us. Sometimes you lose trades in a row, like four or five. But now when you get the discipline, you learn that if I lose the first two trades, I stop. I will not trade again that day. So we'll talk about that later on. So those are the things I consider very key 
in trading parallel options. Just a recap. You need to understand the market. You need to know that market moves in waves, uh, waves up and down, waves up and down. And you need to know when to avoid, for example, candles are very long weeks or shadows, very tiny bodies. That's in decision stage, avoid trading. Okay, there are many other things I will tell you later on when we talk about strategies and candlestick analysis. You need a broker that will pay you once you make profit. You need a broker that will not run away with your money. You need a broker that will not manipulate prices so that you lose. And I still recommend IQ Option and Binary Option, uh, Binary.com, among others. Of course, there are others that you can use. Uh, all in friend and the rest. All right, uh, you need a reliable trading strategy or indicator or system. Binary Winners Club, uh, which I founded and I'm still running now several years with about 4,000 members. Uh, I've shared a number of strategies. I've shared a number of indicator systems and many other things. The point is most people are not willing to use a system for like a month and see how it works. Most people get a new system that's profitable, they use it out of emotions, they trade all kind of signals they see, they lose trade number one, two, three, they say, oh, the system does not work, it's a losing system. They dump it, they look for the next system. Can you settle down? Pick a system, pick a strategy. Pick an indicator, use it for like a month and establish how it works. You will find, um, you know, you will find something nice. You'll find something nice in it. And then it can deliver you 60% win rate, 67% win rate, 70% win rate. Use it. And keep using it and fine tune it until it gives you better win rate. As I say, with 60% win rate or more, you are ready to go. You need a suitable trading plan, you need to know how many trades you can do per day, how much per trade, what broker payout you'll accept, and things like that. Effective money management, you need to know how much you use per trade and how much you're allowing yourself to lose. If you see, you start the day with several ITMs, end of the day, cut your losses early enough. If you're making more ITMs at some point, stop. Yeah? Like now, if you are targeting 70% win rate and your first seven trades are ITM, end of the day. That's fine. So uh, that is what I had for video number one. It's already running into 40 minutes, which I think is 10, uh, but it's for your own good. So those are the things I consider key, key things I consider. So guys, uh, do remember that, uh, uh, do remember that uh, I'll be doing more videos talking about these things later. So up next, episode number two, I will be talking about the essential components of a high probability trade. Now, don't miss this one. Don't miss video number two. Because you will not understand the rest of the things. In video three, four, five, and others that will be following video number two. I will be talking about trend and how to get for a trend. I will talk about market levels, support resistance levels, trend lines, Fibonacci, number, uh, Fibonacci levels, or retracement levels. I will be talking about what signals what signals an entry how do you know you can now enter call or put signals candlestick patterns and other things confluence factors i always like something to support my idea i know it's a call yes but what else tells me it's a call i will need confluence factors i don't have them i will need to know market conditions sometimes you get a very nice setup you enter but news is around the corner and suddenly the market takes your trade there that and you lose you need to know these things. You need to know these things so that you trade like a sniper and not just a camera. Thank you for watching my, my, my video. Uh, once again, this is Bernard. Uh, this is Bernard from Binary Winners Club. Was presenting episode one on the five keys to succeeding binary options. And as you can see on my chart, I have several things. I have a blank chart here. I have a chart with what I'm testing currently and uh, looking nice, 17% win rate. I have another chart I'm testing. This is a binary, uh, this pro ITM miner, a powerful system that some of you are using. I have something different here. I've been testing this binary keys, BW keys indicator that now currently also works with a robot. Uh, something else I was testing also here. So uh, that's, that's what it is for me. Uh, 
So from me, Bernard, thank you for watching this video and meet you in the second video. As I say, in the second video, we'll be talking about the essential components of a high probability trade. I have a small request. In this request is on our Telegram channel, which is Final Winners Club, on our Telegram channel. Kindly go there and um, tell me what you'd like me to talk about in the coming videos. Please go there and tell me what you'd like us to talk about in the coming videos. We also have a YouTube uh, channel, Final Winners Club. You can check it. I've not updated it. I want to move some of these old videos and put new ones, like episode 1, 2, 3, 4, so that we start uh, I know, interacting and I start helping as many people as I can help. Do you remember? You must invest in this business. Invest your time to learn, invest your money to buy books, to buy courses, to buy systems, and you know, do the best you can for the business. If you want the business to make money for you, invest in it. There's no business that makes money without any expenses or investments. And uh, this is not any different, so I wish that you will be able to make that decision and join. Remember, I introduced uh, I introduced a trading community or a traders community. I introduced a traders community recently. I, I want to launch it as soon as possible. In the traders community, these are the things, and I want you to be very keen about this. These are the people I want to work with. In the traders community, this is a group of people uh, that will be trading together, sharing as many things as possible. Uh, for example, I want to create a challenge. You can start to grow a small account of $100 all the way to $1,000. That's just to mean that you can you can start with 100, but of course you can start with 500 or whatever value you have in your account. And we need a live broker like I've indicated, I keep between my name dot com with mine. I use those brokers. The minimum starting balance must be 100. Recommended start with 250. We are only risking 3% per trade. So that you don't believe you have 10, 10, 10 losses in a row, your account is intact. And then we have um, we only trade if the bro broker payout is 80%, but not less than 75%. I told you why that's important. And number of trades we expect to take in the group is 5 to 10 signals every day, meaning 25 to 50 signals per week, meaning 100. Mm -hmm. That means what? That means 100 to 500 trades a month. That's a lot. We shall share our live account results daily. When we trade together, because I'll be providing the signals and you can be watching because I might be doing live trading as well when you see my screen, we will be sharing results, losses, profits, all of them for transparency reasons. I will be doing my weekly videos like the one I'm doing and sharing with members of the traders community here for free, teaching them a few of my strategies. Uh, we'll be showing you my strategy, that's what I mean. Automatic 30% discount. So if you want any of my premium products, Pro ITL Miner, Binary Profit Maker, Binary Party Indicator, whichever indicator you're looking for, you will get it at 30% discount. That means if it's 100, you'll get it at 60 or something like that. You will test, if you want to test my new indicators or systems, you test it, you find it's good, you report, and then you want a copy, I'll give you that indicator at 50% discount. So if you test it and I mark the price at $100, but because you tested it and you're a member of this uh, BWC traders community, when you request for your license, I will give it to you at fifty dollars instead of one hundred. Wow. Um, monthly fee for you to be a member of the BWC traders community and enjoy these benefits, you only keep subscribing every month with thirty dollars. Guys, this is just one dollar per day. One dollar per day, and you'll be getting five to ten signals every day where you are not just analyzing the market. I am doing the analysis, okay? I'm doing the heavy lifting for you. All right, uh, so that's what we have there. I will personally add the members to the group and remove those who play around in the group. I'll ban. I don't entertain spamming, I don't entertain junk, I don't entertain people post stuff that don't relate to trading, right? Or start posting advertisements. I don't entertain that. I will kick you out of the group. We need sanity, okay? Trading is a business for me, and I take it seriously. We'll be trading the UK sessions and the US sessions. Once the quorum is hit, 10 members plus, we'll agree on when we'll be trading, so that when I post the signals, 
the group you will be able to see the one we have picked them up. Uh, of course, we are encouraged to share your results on the platforms. Use Telegram, Facebook. Okay. Now, uh, being a member of the group, of course, you have those many benefits I've indicated there. Special discounts for you. So uh, that is all there is in being a BWC traders community member. Many, many powerful benefits. And as you can see, people are reacting to this and they're saying they're comfortable and want to join. Uh, I encourage you to join. I encourage you to join. Be a member. We have a Facebook group, Binary Women's Club as well. Okay. So uh, that's all there is for now. I would encourage you to watch this video and to prepare to watch subsequent videos so that we end together and move from learning to earning as we trade binary options. Cheers. See you in episode two. Bye bye.